made the decision a couple days ago that I'm going to try to get uh, the Briggs 5432 uh, going before winter hits. Uh, I'm hoping to get a lot done on it today. I uh, discovered one thing that <clears throat> the three horse Briggs is the intake manifold height is about an inch lower than a five horse. So I've had to uh, drop my manifold down uh, an inch to uh, so it you know lines up with the three horse blocks and uh, then the uh, carburetor will mount here just go on a single carburetor and then there will be another piece goes on here to feed the end I guess number one cylinder that one will go to number two and then number three will come off there and four will extend down to the left so now I'm just going to uh, start welding the various pieces together here and then uh, I've got to set the motors on my frame there I had them up there uh, the other night so I'm gonna gonna go for it here so hopefully we'll I'll be able to succeed we got some maybe rain tomorrow and the weather's not looking that, that great right now but it's uh, it's intake manifold building time anyways so well I got the 5432 set back up here that's uh, it's just temporarily bolted down I still got to uh, drill the holes for these two motors some of them are going to be fun because they hit half another hole uh, I wish I had a half hole drill but anyway <laughs> and uh, I finally located my uh, distributor there that I started to work on for this about a year ago um, so <clears throat> I was originally planning to mount it at the end of the frame and then I clued in that hey you can save a lot of time because you already got your distributor mounts and everything set up for this cylinder here if you move them all down and so uh, it worked out about the same as far as hitting half holes and all that but uh, at least now I don't have to worry about the distributor mount and uh, looks like it's I'm not quite back to square one on the the intake manifold here but my my slope section didn't uh, didn't pan out as you can see it, it does not match up there so I need more of a more of an angle on the pipe uh, not uh, quite sure how that happened since I took measurements and drew it on AutoCAD but uh, anyway so I got to straighten that out and drill eight holes in the base there somehow so so I got my work cut out for me here since it's three o'clock in the afternoon now and uh, you know dark hits at about uh, 7 30 and it's supposed to rain tomorrow so Probably not going to run today, but uh, at least uh, I'll, it'll be well underway. Well, those 5 16 holes through the steel went pretty quick. I was using these uh, home hardware Trimark uh, or Benchmark Tribor um, cobalt drill bits, and uh, yeah, it made uh, made about the quickest work I have yet of uh, drilling holes in this frame here. So I'm I'm quite impressed. I uh, I spent hours doing it back uh, 2016 when I built the uh, straight six and uh, yeah I did a lot of sweating drilling those, drilling those holes in it and if I'd had that drill bit I'd have been through it like hot butter so yeah the tri-bore drill bits uh, worked really good and of course the secret with uh, any any drill is to uh, to not over rev it like uh, I used a smaller drill uh, with an eighth inch pilot hole and you know you can rev an eighth inch drill bit to uh, you know, 1500 rpm or something but you, you can't do that on a 5 16th well I mean you can but you'll burn the end off it so you have to go you have to go slower rpm and that's the advantage of your uh, you know variable speed drill bit so because uh, otherwise if you if I if I revved it right up full blast it would uh, just uh, Take the end off the uh, you know lose the sharpness on the end then it wouldn't want to drill anything so yeah you gotta sometimes slower is faster with uh, drill bits the bigger it is the slower you gotta go unfortunately the work day has come to an end it's approaching darkness here way too early unfortunately but so I uh, uh, got the intake manifold uh, done now finally I uh, put uh, rubber joints in between here, kind of like these ones here. So it's even though it doesn't look done, it's it's done. So I can melt the carburetor on there. Fortunately, the carburetor is going to tip up just a little bit. But again, I've actually got a rubber rubber adapter on it, so it'll take care of that uh, 
misalignment. I'll see I get some welds better on my white paint there. But, yeah, a little two two horse. They got a five eight shaft. It's not a very big looking thing compared to the three quarter inch on the the five horse there. I think uh, I think three horse has three quarter inch also. But anyway, you can see it there. Intake manifold. It's kind of a strange looking contraption, but. Uh, Hopefully it'll uh, feed all four cylinders there relatively equally. So, so that's uh, next will be uh, distributor installation and timing the cylinders.